In this podcast, we're going to talk about the speed of gas molecules, and we're going to learn how to calculate the root mean square velocity of these molecules at a specific temperature. Um, first, let's talk about kinetic energy. Uh, we know kinetic energy is energy of movement. Uh, so when we're talking about the kinetic energy of gas particles, um, we can say that if they have the same conditions of temperature, they're all going to have the same average kinetic energy. Now, just because they have the same average kinetic energy does not mean that all of the molecules are going the same velocity. Um, here is a little equation from physics. You may remember kinetic energy is one half mv squared, m being mass, v being velocity. Um, so we see, based on this equation, um, the smaller the mass, the faster the molecules are going to move, the higher the velocity is going to be. The bigger the mass, the smaller the velocity is going to be. Okay, so we can conclude um, that at the same temperature, small molecules are going to move faster than large molecules, even though they may have the same kinetic energy. All right, <laughs> there it goes. All right, um, to calculate the root mean square velocity, um, the root mean square velocity gives us the averages of all the squares of the gas particles velocities. So we take all their velocities and then we square them and then we take the average of that. That's basically what this equation does for us. Um, here's the equation. Um, U, root mean square, so the root mean square velocity is equal to um, the square root of 3RT over M. Now, you need to note that um, M and R are a little bit different from these in this equation than they have been in other ones. This one, M, is going to be our molar mass in kilograms. So we've got to convert to kilograms uh, the molar mass, okay? So it's got to be in kgs, okay? Uh, the other thing is we have to use a different R for this one. Um, for this one, we have to use 8.3145, okay? So you've got to remember... Uh, the other R value that we've been using has been um, 0 0.08206. Now we're going to use, just for this equation, 8.3145. And that will give us the velocity in meters per second when we solve. So we're going to go ahead and look at an example problem. Uh, calculate the root mean square velocity of carbon dioxide at 25 degrees Celsius. Well, we know that our temperature is going to have to be in Kelvin. So we're going to go ahead and add 273. And that's going to give us... 298K. Okay, that's our temperature. And then we know that we have carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is CO2, and you find the molar mass, one carbon plus two oxygen, so that's 12.011 plus 16 times 2 is 32. So the molar mass is 44.011 grams. Now you know you got to get this to kilograms, so if you did King Henry, you would see that we're going to move our decimal three places this away. So we really have 0 0.044011 kilograms. Okay, so that's going to be our molar mass. All right, now we can just straight up plug this into the equation. So we have the velocity is equal to the square root of 3 times our r, which was the 3145 times the T, which was 298, okay, and then we're going to divide that by the molar mass in kilograms. Now, when I solve these, I solve the top, um, um, and then I solve the, divide the top by the bottom, and then I do the square root. So I try to do it in different steps, because then the calculator and me both are on the same page about what's supposed to be going on. So solving the top, we get 7433.163, and that still needs to be divided by this. And, of course, that needs to still be square rooted. And then we solve for this, just the division, and we get 16828. 93.29. Okay, square root this, and we see that the root mean square velocity is 410 meters per 
second, okay? And that is sig fig, two sig figs, two sig figs. Okay, so a carbon dioxide molecule, CO2, goes 410 meters per second um, when it is at 25 Celsius or 298K. Now we're going to calculate the same temperature, so we're still dealing with our 298K here. But now we're going to talk about hydrogen. Now we know hydrogen is much smaller um, than CO2, and I'm writing H2 because it's diatomic, so it travels like this um, in a pair when it's not in a molecule bonded. Here is the molar mass in grams, and then we're going to have to move three places this way to get to kilograms. Okay, so there's our molar mass in kilograms. So we're going to set up our equation just like we did on the other problem. So we got 3 times 8.3145 times temperature, which is 298. And then we're going to divide that by the molar mass, oops, in kilograms. Okay, now I'm going to solve it in steps just like I did on the other problem. So the top is still the same as the previous problem because we haven't changed uh, temperature here. And that's basically the only variable that affects the top from problem to problem. And then, of course, we have a different molar mass. Okay. All right, and then I get this big, long number under the radical. And when I solve, I get the root mean square velocity at 1,920 meters per second, okay? That's a lot faster than the CO2 molecule at the same temperature. The CO2 molecule only goes 410 meters per second, whereas the hydrogen molecule is going 1,920 meters per second, and they're at the same temperature. Now, they have the same kinetic energy, but they have a different velocity because they have a different mass. All right, let's look at one last problem. This would be a chlorine. Uh, chlorine, we know he is diatomic, just like um, hydrogen is. So we're going to do this, and molar mass is 70.906 grams. Move the decimal uh, three places over to get it to kilograms. All right, so we got uh, 0 0.070906 kilograms, and then we're going to add 273 to this uh, very high temperature Celsius right here. And we're going to get 523K. All right, now we're just going to go ahead and plug this into our um, equation. All right, so we got 3 times 8.3145 times our temperature, which was 523, and that we're going to divide by our molar mass. Okay, solve for the top and then solve for the bottom. So the top I got 13045 0.45. And that's going to get divided by the molar mass down here. And then we got to square root it. And I got 18398232. And you work that out, and that is 429 meters per second, which technically sig figs, because there's only two here, would sig fig to 430 meters per second. Okay, now think about this. Carbon dioxide going, um, carbon dioxide at 25 degrees Celsius goes 410 meters per second. Okay, so just a little bit slower than this. But hydrogen at 25 degrees Celsius goes <clears throat> 1,920 meters per second. So super, super fast. Now, increase the temperature a bunch and chlorine cl2 still isn't traveling as fast as hydrogen molecules are at a much much lower temperature so you see the size of the molecule affects the velocity a lot it's a big big deal
Okay, so that's how you would find the root mean square.